What triggered the Cambrian explosion during the Paleozoic era in which there was an explosion of animal life? Where did all this new genetic information come from in a geological instant? So the Cambrian explosion happened about 500 million years or so ago, 540, roughly half a billion years before today. Until that time, the entire world, the entire, you know, uh, landscape of life was very straightforward, multicellular and unicellular life forms. But the Cambrian explosion was this tremendous, uh, you know, creative outpouring of genetic uh, experiments. And it's the first time you have in the fossil record animals with hard shells and exoskeletons and endoskeletons. Uh, so what caused it? We don't quite know what caused it. Maybe there was an abundance of oxygen. See, initially, in the initial phase of the, in the first phase of life on the planet, oxygen was a poison. And there was this great oxygenation catastrophe that killed off about 90% plus of all life forms on the planet. That is, that is, that is more than 3 billion years before today, or roughly around 3 billion years before, before today. But later on, oxygen became the, the gas that life forms need to stay alive, to survive. Even today for us, if you breathe in too much oxygen or pure oxygen for a long time, it kind of acts like a poison and it's not a good thing. But yeah, so around 540 million years before today, maybe there was an increase in the oxygen oxygenation level of the atmosphere, maybe an increase, increase in the oxygen com, uh, concentration of the oceans as well. And maybe that caused this sudden outpouring of, of uh, so many new kinds of, of, of uh, species. Maybe the, the, the amount of calcium and, and phosphate and all that in the oceans also increased, which gave, which enabled animals to develop endoskeletons, exoskeletons and all that. So, uh, that's what the fossil record tells us. We have the Burgess Shale in in England, in, in the British Islands and so on. So we see the sudden outpouring of genetic diversity. And maybe uh, maybe it's the first time pred predators, predatory animals e emerged in the oceans, which necessitated that other animals also had to uh, evolve and take evolutionary defense defensive measures. And, and evolve in such a way that the predators could not catch them very easily and, and de devour them very easily. So maybe that also was uh, one of the causes of so much diversity uh, emerging. But all those animals that ever emerged at the time, they are the ancestors of all the animals that exist today. And one of them surely was our ancestor as well.